So what's up with Boeing's Starliner? Is it really stuck at the International Space Station? In short, no. Starliner is not stuck. The crew, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, are not stranded in space. The vehicle is safe, and the astronauts do not require a rescue by a SpaceX Crew Dragon. So what's with all the dramatic headlines? And liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V, carrying two American heroes, drawing a line to the stars for all of us. Boeing's Starliner crew flight test launched to the ISS on June 5th on a mission that was originally planned for eight days. It has now been in space for over a month after several proposed return dates have been pushed back. As of July 8th, no return date has been set. Now let's rewind the clock and go over what's happened. The first launch attempt on May 6th was called off due to an issue with the Atlas V rocket. During the rollback for repairs, a helium leak in Starliner's service module was discovered. Helium, a non-reactive noble gas, is used to pressurize the propellant tanks in Starliner. The leak, caused by a defective seal, was minor and not immediately worrisome, so they left it as is. But once in orbit, the leak worsened, and four others appeared. Additionally, during the rendezvous with the ISS, five of the service module's 28 reaction control thrusters shut down unexpectedly. Butch and Sunni had to then hold Starliner in place while ground teams worked the issue. After resetting and rechecking thrusters, four of the five thrusters were brought back online. The fifth looked to have a different issue, so they left that one off for the rest of the mission. Starliner successfully docked shortly thereafter, and the crew entered the ISS to join the seven-person Expedition 71 crew. With Starliner docked, the helium manifolds in the service module's reaction control system are closed, so the leak is basically zero during this time. NASA and Boeing say there is about 70 hours of helium left in the service module, and they only need about seven hours worth to return to Earth. And remember, the helium will only be used during independent flight. Engineers think the leaks are from faulty seals, but the thruster problems are harder to understand. It's thought that heavy use during rendezvous caused overheating, possibly causing an improper mixture of fuel and oxidizer. The thrusters were checked while docked at the ISS and found to be fine. During the test, it was discovered that the rate the helium was leaking had actually reduced, in all five instances, one by 50%. NASA and Boeing say Starliner can return to Earth safely at any time if needed, but they want to do more testing on the ground to better understand the thruster issue from rendezvous. Starting back on July 2nd, NASA and Boeing began testing a Starliner thruster at White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico. They want to put that thruster through a simulated mission profile to see if the problem encountered on orbit can be replicated. This will take several weeks. The reason for keeping Starliner in space during this testing is so that any findings can be verified with the in-space hardware or to collect more data for additional testing. That's why there's currently no set return date yet. The service module, which is where all of these problems have occurred, is not reusable and will burn up upon re-entry. Only the crew capsule returns with the astronauts. Despite the original eight-day plan, NASA always intended to be flexible, aiming to gather as much data as possible. Originally, Starliner's batteries were certified for 45 days, but the data shows that they can last much longer, and the space station is ensuring the batteries are constantly charged. Starliner is technically designed for 210-day missions. So it's safe to say this mission hasn't gone perfectly. It's a test mission, after all. Boeing's recent commercial aviation reputation issues don't help, but let's separate that from their space division. NASA and Boeing insist Starliner is healthy and the crew is safe. This was showcased recently when an unexpected satellite breakup near the space station's orbit caused all the crew members on the ISS to seek safe haven in their respective spacecraft, including Starliner. Additionally, if there were any serious issues with Starliner, there would have been signs of NASA prepping a backup plan, like preparing a Dragon capsule. Similar behind-the-scenes things happened when there was a coolant link aboard the Soyuz spacecraft in 2022. Despite these setbacks, the capsule itself has been performing very well. So why set return dates only to constantly delay them? NASA and Boeing are prioritizing thorough testing and safety to ensure Starliner can be fully operational and certified for future missions. The next Starliner flight, sometime next year, is a crew rotation mission to the ISS, so these problems all need to be solved by then. 
And it doesn't hurt for the ISS crew to have a couple extra hands to help with the hundreds of science experiments and the various maintenance tasks aboard the outpost. If you found this video informative, be sure to launch that like button into orbit and subscribe to the channel for more space videos if you haven't already. And if you still have questions about Starliner's extended stay at the ISS, ask them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, Ad Astra.